Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial on using CX trees to generate uh, executables in Python. This is something which, I mean, uh, this is one of the options which is available to generate uh, executables. Uh, we're going to study this because this is something which we use at work as well. And yeah. So, uh, first things first, uh, I have a separate environment, a virtual environment which is created. It's already active, and we're first going to install it. To install it, uh, I have this CX trees documentation already open with me. It gives some basic idea about uh, what versions of CX trees currently exist, which Python version they are compatible with, and also which of the uh, versions are supported and unsupported. So you might want to look at this as well if you actually intend to use it, uh, you know, uh, somewhere in the production environment. So uh, first, back to the installation. So uh, the uh, command is pretty simple. You can install it using pip or any other uh, methods which are given below. So I'm just, uh, you know, because I'm using pip, I'm just going to copy this command and do an installation so uh, it does the installation for me we'll just give it a couple of minutes uh, and dir pip list yeah if you see uh, cx trees is already in, uh, installed for me now uh, to run cx trees uh, you can either uh, so to run cx trees you can either write your own setup.py file the basics of uh, the basic or the uh, the starting point of CX trees is a setup.py file, and you can write it on your own, or uh, just like for this tutorial, we're going to use the quick start option. So I think it should be here. Uh, on yep, the CX trees quick start. So it'll gen generate the basic uh, setup.py file for us. Now the setup.py is not mandated, uh, the naming convention is not mandated, it can be named anything and we're going to see that in a while. So I'm just going to copy this command and see if it's quick start. So once you apply the quick start command, it will ask the project name. So CX3's uh, demo sounds like a good name, uh, version is 1.1, description, demo, how to uh, generate exe files using cx cx trees python file uh, if you see I, yeah i already have a sample uh, python file which i'm going to use I, i'll show you what the code is in that file it's a pretty simple uh, because this is just a demo about cx trees and not actual writing python code so i'm just going to use cx and test, test test that shouldn't be that hard dot py executive file name uh, should be same uh, just let's keep it that way and uh, let's keep it uh, okay uh, if you keep it blank, then this is the default version it will give. Now, uh, execute. So, uh, yeah. Now, this option is a bit interesting. Uh, so, it has three types of base which we can use: a console application, a GUI application, or a service application. A GUI. Uh, 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 the first two are pretty uh, simple. This is a CLI. This is a GUI application, or this is a service which you intend to write. So, firstly, uh, the C is the or the console application is the default, and we're going to go with that first save script as setup.py so let's just go with that and do you do i want to run this now no because we'll run it later now let me actually quickly reload this project from the yep quickly reload this project from the disk just to show you what the setup.py or the default setup.py looks like yeah this is the setup.py file which has been generated if you see this is the base which we selected console um somewhere here c uh, if not, there will be other bases which you can uh, which can be generated and we'll see that in one minute we'll generate a separate file and this is where the magic happens. The name, the version, the description, the options. So what the build option does is if you want to uh, you know, select any additional packages which you or only select a limited number of packages which are required to run in your code. For example, uh, currently we have uh, in this environment so many packages. Yeah. If you just want to exclude one of them, you can put it in the include exclude directly. This is just the name of the executables. You can just add more to it. So this is the basic setup.py file there which you need to actually build an executable from this cx uh, dot uh, 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 that test.py file. So now looking at the uh, actual Python code which we are going to convert into an executable. So yeah, uh, what this does is it takes in a simple argument which is the name and it you know, greets that person. So this is pretty simple. Because you know this is not about writing Python code, but this is uh, actually seeing how this can be converted into you know, to an executable which can run later. Uh, to convert this into an executable, it's pretty simple. Uh, you have to just do Python setup.py and build. That is the command. 
when you do that you'll see that the build process starts running you just have uh, because it's a smaller code it'll take a couple of minutes to do it yeah this is already done and if i now do a dir i have a new folder here called as build and within build i have the exe and here you can already see the exe file which is generated yeah. now this is like any other python execute uh, this is like any other windows executable and an executable in general and you can just uh, run it if you see or if you're already aware uh, aware about the argument parser i've made this parameter as mandatory so if you do not supply this uh, it will prompt up this uh, help message yeah so the following parameters are required uh, so uh, now if i run it again cs test double life name yeah, hello jadeep and the 10 second sleep Uh, we're almost done. The 10 seconds are almost up. Yep, and the program has executed. So that is how uh, simple it is to uh, generate the executable. Now, suppose I want to uh, mention an additional uh, uh, library, additional package which I need. So, for example, if I need Flask, and I'm just going to save that, and I'm going to rebuild this. Uh, I'm not going to be lazy. Python set. Uh, yep. Python setup. Set up the UI build <laughs> Python spot Python. Yep, yeah, because we don't have Flask here, so we do pip install Flask. So it's collecting Flask, and now if I do. So build again cd exe dr cd and if you see flask and the other dependencies which are now available uh, for example so flask and the dependencies which come with it are now available in our uh, uh, lib folder so that is how you can pack or unpack similarly uh, these are the packages which you want to include if you want to exclude something for example if i now want to exclude flask i don't want flask in my build then i can just do this uh, python python set of the ui build cd build slash slash exe dr cd lib and now if you see uh, flask is gone so that is how you can include or exclude additional packages uh, no, circle back and talk about this base now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, generate separate separate files uh, separate setup.py files so what i'm going to do is cx freeze quick start project name uh, demo cx freeze uh, not dem but demo cx freeze uh, base version 1 description just put something a b c d uh, make by the cx underscore test dot py executable should be okay now i'm going to make a gui application uh, i'm just going to set up underscore gui dot py i'm just going to rename it i'm just going to run it now and i'm going to go back to this console and yeah, this is a new file now if you see uh, this uh, base has changed similarly if you do a service application entirely then this will change as well demo cx uh, one description executable cx underscore test dot py uh, yep this should be ok and service setup underscore service dot py no and we have a new file and if you see uh, the base has changed so this is how uh, no, uh, there are different bases which you can use uh, no, uh, uh, run this python uh, setup gy and build
Oh, so you just have to, uh, no, because this is a big log, you just have to make sure at the end that there are no errors. Sometimes it errors out, and uh, no, that's why your executable won't be properly generated. Even if even if it was generated, it might have some errors in not run. So uh, that's something which you want to keep in mind. So that is it for this tutorial. Uh, if you, you know, if you want this code, I mean this code can be anything. Uh, you can write literally anything in this. Uh, it doesn't matter. The idea was to demo the setup, uh, the setup file which you need. Uh, to summarize this, uh, CX Freeze is used to generate executables, and it gives you the options of uh, naming the uh, naming the executables, which base you want to do, uh, which base you want to use, uh, the packages which you want to include or exclude, and so on. And you know, you can uh, there are other configurations which are available. For example, uh, not VWD but CWD. Uh, currently, uh, this executable was generated in this uh, build folder only. Not build folder was generated in the same location as the CXFreeZ Aura project folder, but that is configurable as well. You can look, uh, take a look at the documentation and see how to do it. It uh, uh, all of the configuration uh, goes actually into the uh, all of the configuration actually goes into the setup file only, and you can change what you want to. No, two. This is a uh, thank you for watching. If you found this use, uh, if you found this tutorial usable, uh, usable not but useful, uh, do leave comments uh, and like and subscribe. Uh, uh, do leave a comment and like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks for watching.